my dear Pisces a very very good evening to you guys this is Anjali Tarot and this is a general love reading for all the Pisces Sun Moon Venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you in the first place the second thing the rules can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from 13 till the 19th of November and it is valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign so let's start your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment let's see Pisces what's happening Ten of Swords. Okay, this is someone who is taking this situation and has done and dusted, and they are not. Uh, they were not prepared for this kind of ugly separation or breakup or this kind of ending. But I think uh, now they are getting over it. This is what I'm getting here. Let's clarify the Ten of Swords. We have the Page of Pentacles, the Death card, and the Strength card. This person is think this person is feeling like this is completely over there is nothing left in the situation even if they try their best even if they are going going to like uh, like gather all the strength of the universe all the courage of the universe to start this or uh, again it's not possible now they feel like they lost the chance of friendship also there's nothing left in the situation as for them it's done and it's very painful for them to realize that this is done and it's never going to be the same again in fact the friendship kind of energy is also gone they are right now in the victim mode whosoever you are connected to this person is right now in the victim mode let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side Pisces you are just focused on yourself you f you are uh, in this energy of okay feeling like you should work on your money job career your finances your freedom your breakthrough your uh, energies of breaking free from this chaos and conflicted kind of energy but let's clarify the nine of pentacles we have the three of wands and the eight of wands and the five of wands it's like you're moving on uh, it's like you're kind of forcing yourself to move on from a situation where you feel like talking to this person again about why this situation didn't work out, about some kind of proper closure. You feel like talking to this person one last time or clearing the air with them one last time and then letting it go and focusing on your individual growth and success in your life. You're kind of forcing yourself to do that. It's like a, not a, an easy task for you, but you are forcing yourself. But you have this knowing inside of you that it's done and it's gone. But I feel like having a proper communication, having a proper closure. I'm talking about you, right? This is what you are feeling right now at this present moment, Pisces. You feel like uh, you should get the proper closure. You should get the justice. You should get the balance so that you can move on from this situation. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Lovers. Okay, their intention might be to bring the attraction back, bring the situation back to this. If you guys were, uh, by any chance, if you guys were just physically uh, involved with each other and you guys were not in love with each other, by any chance, they want the same thing back. Or if not, they want to like uh, come towards you and uh, like uh, they want to ignite some kind of spark in the situation again between you and them. Oh, oh my God, I, I can't believe this. Let's clarify the lovers. We have the Ten of Cups, the Chariot and the Four of Wands. Wow! This person wants to... This person wants to marry you now. What? This is someone who thinks like, okay, if they are going to get a chance to be back with you ever in their life, they are going to straight away marry you. So they want to ignite the spark in this connection again so that they can be with you in their future. They want to make this situation work out. Now this person is realizing your worth and value. And now they are in this energy of if I am ever going to get a chance to be with Pisces or a person like Pisces, I'm not going to let them go. Because this is the kind of person who can handle me and handle the situation, handle a connection with me. Mom. 
Oh my god, they want a second chance here, but they don't know how, they don't know how to do it, they don't know how to ignite the spark because they know the spark is gone, the love is gone, everything is gone and it's hurting them like crazy. Wow. This person wants to ignite the spark in this connection and they want to make sure if they are ever going to get a, a chance to be with you again and if the spark is going to come back, the love is going to come back, they are never letting you go. Let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side, Pisces. Seven of Wands, from your side you just want to keep yourself protected from this person. You want to like create a boundary around you and you don't want this person to hurt you again ever in life. Or to bother you again ever in life. Let's clarify the Seven of Wands. The Hermit in Reverse, the Page of Wands and the Knight of Wands. See, you do want to communicate with this person. It's not like you don't want to communicate with this person at all. You do want to communicate. You want to have this on and off communication with them. But you don't want to participate in any kind of relationship with them. You don't want to have uh, that kind of serious connection with them. Even a situationship kind of energy is not uh, like uh, <laughs> your cup of tea as of now with this particular energy. But you want to, it's like you don't want to kick this person out of your life completely. But at the same time, you don't want this person to be in your life and ruin your life in any way. It's like you just want to keep them at a distance. You want to talk to them, maybe hang out with them sometimes, but nothing more than that. This is your current energy. This is what you want out of this situation. So the roles can be reversed also. Please keep that in mind. You want something solid and committed and you're not getting it from this person and you're sure that they're never going to give it to you. So you are just a... You just want to keep this person in the friend zone, from love to friend zone kind of energy. It was like a friendship from like a, like a, from a friendship to love and from love to friendship. This is like the how the wheel is turning in this situation. Let's see what's coming towards you in love till the 19th of November, Pisces. Hanged man. Okay, you guys are going to see things from a different perspective. A change in perspective, a change in direction is coming in your love life. Let's clarify the hanged man to get the clear picture of the situation, honey. We have the Ten of Wands, the Tower, Queen of Cups. Yeah, see, there will be a like 180 degree change in your perspective. You are going to be... Uh, suddenly out of the blue you are going to release the tension release the stressful kind of energy you are going to feel very light you are going to feel like okay i'm in love with myself i am taking care of myself i'm feeling loved i'm feeling loved by myself so i'm very happy so you are going to realize that uh, this situation is gone actually it's gone and this situation is gone for good now you are going to feel by the end of this week like uh, from till the 19th of November, you are going to feel so much love for yourself that you are going to uh, be sh surprised. Like why the hell I was not able to feel this kind of freedom and this kind of uh, uh, self-love kind of energy in the past. What was wrong with me? You yourself was your own enemy. <laughs> now when it's happening, when it's uh, like uh, when the stressful energies are going, you are good. I like it. I like it. Let's see the guidance for you guys, Pisces, in the situation. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Lots of Pentacles. Focus on your money, job, career, your overall stability in your life. Even if you are mo the like most richest person on earth right now, your over overall stability, blah, 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 blah. your overall stability, your collaboration, your partnerships, and uh, your money, job, career should be your overall focus. Okay. Once you are going to be settled in your energies, once you are going to be in a mature and grounded kind of energies within yourself. Then you can move forward towards love and relationship kind of area. Right now you should focus on your self-healing, love, care and stability. Okay? Stability in finances, stability in family, stability in collaboration partnerships that you are having with other energies. Okay. So thank you so much for tuning in Pisces. I will see you soon in the next video. Bye bye. Take care. God bless you. Namaste.